Alarming video showing an armed home invasion in Philadelphia. A mother and father tied up at gunpoint as their two young children are nearby. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt, but this family is still rattled. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sheba Russell. We want to get straight out to Shayna Ferreira. She's live in East Oak Lane tonight. And Shayna, you spoke with one of the family members. What did they tell you? Well, Sheba, I spoke to the father who was one of those victims tied up in this East Oak Lane home invasion. He tells me that he is grateful to be alive, of course, with his family, his wife as well. But all of this unfolded in front of his small children, and they are traumatized tonight. A terrorizing sight unfolding within this East Oak Lane neighborhood. A home invasion all caught on camera back on November the 6th. Police say one of the victims, a home-based business owner, was outside with his employee when four suspects pulled up in what appears to be a black Acura and quickly forced them inside at gunpoint. The disturbing video from inside the home on 7th Street shows the suspects pointing their guns at someone on the ground as a small child appears. We spoke to one of the victims who was tied up at gunpoint while his children watched. For his safety, he asked us not to show his face. And they hit me in my face two times. He tells Fox 29 it all happened within minutes. My daughter watched everything. She is scared. She, she crying. She crying too much. She make a lot of noise. She, they talk to her, shut up or I kill you too. Oh, when they're talking my, my daughter like that, oh my God, I, I want him to die too. The man telling us he and his family were tied up with zip ties and assaulted as the thieves ransacked their home and got away with the safe, firearms, and jewelry. They take the whole safe. They know we have business because they, they ask you, where is the money? Where is the money? I say, I don't have money. I, they say, yeah, you have money here. He's now left keeping his head on a swivel, wondering who would do this to him and his family. My wife, she cried in the night, every night. She can't sleep. Now, an interesting note tonight, that victim telling me that all four suspects were Hispanic males that only spoke Spanish. So uh, he's hoping that they can get down to the bottom of this with this police investigation. They're hoping that someone could recognize at least one of those suspects that may lead to all of them and hopefully get them behind bars tonight. We're live at the 35th District. Shayna Ferreira, Fox 29 News. All right, Shana, thank you.